This video gets us introduced to one of the major themes here at Fret Drills. What fundamental patterns can we learn, inside and out, and get the most mileage in leveraging to see the broader patterns of the fretboard? Fret Drills Guitar App Where you go to drill the patterns of the fretboard into your memory. You'll learn by playing games on your mobile device or interactively with D. your guitar. C. A. D. From the FretDrills.com interactive table of contents, the first chapter is memorization of the notes of the fretboard. The first section is the essentials, which has been covered in a previous video. This section focuses on the notes of the A minor pentatonic. We choose that because it is something musically meaningful and the A minor scale does not have any sharps or flats. The first lesson page in this section is the 3x3 box of the E form of the A minor pentatonic. The Lick Looper will feature prominently to get you kickstarted. Next is the 2x4 box, again having the Lick Looper. Then we apply the 3x3 and 2x4 boxes to the various caged forms. First, the entire E form, then the D form, C form, A form, and G forms. Then, we conclude by testing over the entire fretboard. You may have heard of the pentatonic shapes 1 through 5. For instance, this is shape 1 of the A minor pentatonic scale. Well, what is the musical relevance of these numbers? There is none. So we're not going to use that naming convention. We're going to relate caged to the pentatonic shapes. These are the caged open chords, C, A, G, E, D. I've highlighted the root notes in red. So whenever you see root notes in this position, it's a C shape. Similarly, for A, G, E, D. This is the A minor pentatonic scale. Notice that the shape 1 that I showed you before has the root notes in the shape of the E chord. So instead of calling this shape 1, we call it the E shape of the A minor pentatonic scale. I start with the E shape because it is the most common that guitarists first learn. Continuing, similar for the D shape, the C shape, the A shape, and finally, the G shape. Let's summarize what we've just seen. We have just visualized the interlocking relationship between the root patterns, caged, and pentatonic positions. Did you catch that? They all interlock. They're all related. Let's take this association even a step further. Let's gaze at the E shape. Within it, we can find a 3x3 three three box and a 2x4 box. Note that the A and C notes on the E string are just part of the 2x4 box wrapped around the neck. Here they are, and the red highlight indicates the root note. So for each A note on the neck, we can hang the boxes at the root note. For example, here is a 3x3 three three box, and on the same root, we can hang a 2x4 box. Notice that some positions will need to consider the B string shift. This brings us to the memorization strategy for the A minor pentatonic notes on the fretboard. First, absolutely nail the memorization of the 3x3 and 2x4 boxes. Here's where the lick looper will be our friend, just like it was in the essentials section. Then, Apply the 3x3 and 2x4 boxes to each of the caged positions, noting the B string shift and the neck wraparound at the E strings. Memorizing the boxes, absolutely, and then applying it to caged is so much easier than trying to make sense of this. Whenever possible, break things down into fundamental repeating patterns. Plus, you're starting your caged visualization journey. Let's update our interlinking relationships. The root patterns link to cage, which now also link to the 3x3 and 2x4 boxes, which link to the pentatonic patterns. 
Up to this point, we've been talking about using these as tools for memorizing the notes of the A minor pentatonic scale in service of memorizing all of the fretboard notes. But let me give you a glimpse into what's coming down the road for you at fret drills. You're not going to play every solo in A minor pentatonic. How are we going to generalize this for playing any scale type in any key? First, we are going to take our secret repeating patterns and generalize them with intervals. Root, minor third, perfect fourth and fifth, and minor seventh. So this works not just for the A minor pentatonic, but for any key. Then, if we're in the key of A, we hang them on the A root notes. If we're in the key of E, we hang them on the E root notes, and so on. Congratulations! You can now visualize the minor pentatonic scale in any key. But there's more, right? What about the full natural minor scale? Or these scary things that you may have heard of on YouTube videos called modes? With the boxes as an anchor, breaking out of the boxes is actually quite easy. It's going to be like taking our secret repeating patterns and accessorizing them. Here are the minor pentatonic boxes. And here's how we accessorize them to create the natural minor or aeolian mode. Here's how we would accessorize them for the Dorian mode. And so on. So if you ever see another one of these mode diagrams on a YouTube backing track video, which to me is quite useless because it's too much to visualize all at once. Instead, you'll have memorized all of the root notes. Based on the root notes that are in your hand position, you'll visualize the pentatonic shape constructed by hanging the boxes on those root notes. Then you'll accessorize to visualize the mode that you desire. Let's update our interlinking relationships. The root patterns link to caged, which link to the 3x3 and 2x4 boxes, which link to the pentatonic patterns, which get accessorized by the desired mode to yield the full fretboard mode pattern. So far, we've been talking about minor pentatonic and minor modes, but these principles also apply to the flip side of the major scales. Well, I got a little off track there from strictly note memorization of the A minor pentatonic notes, but I wanted to show you that what you're doing in these lessons will be leveraged later for a generalized approach to soloing. I'm a nerd. I just love this stuff. And it's why I'm so excited to bring you fret drills. If you're new to fret drills, then I would suggest circling back to the Start Here playlist. Otherwise, check out the next video in the series.